Hey, welcome back and thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. My name is Justin. Today I've got a, another scope review for you guys. Um, this is the Ride On X7 Conquer. Uh, this model is 3x15 magnification with a 50 millimeter objective. It is in mills with their T3 reticle that we'll look at here shortly. Um, first thing I wanted to look at was just the, uh, I guess the mechanics, the turrets, the zero stop, um, parallax, all those good things. So let's get into that first and then we'll take it to the range. So I talk about uh, illuminated reticle. This does come with an illuminated reticle. Um, one thing I do like about that is that it is one click on and one click off. There are some scopes where you got to turn it all the way back, full rotation back to zero. This does not have that. Um, the parallax adjustment uh, works great. The only, um, the only downside of it is it does not have uh, marked graduations along the side that can tell you the distance that you need to put it on or identify the dis different distances. So you have to get behind the glass and adjust parallax to find the appropriate um, parallax for that distance. So we'll talk about the uh, zero stop design on this scope. Very simple and easy to use. You simply sight your scope in. Once you've found zero, you can remove the turret. It's got a little pin there that would stop the turret from going. So when you have zeroed your scope, remove the turret, put it back down on zero, and then tighten your screws back and you've got it set on zero and the zero stop is set. So as far as the turrets go, adjustability, one thing I always check is do the numbers line up? Uh, I don't know why some scope manufacturers get this wrong, but every click is one line on the turret. No matter how far you go, it does line up. Um, that's just something I always check. Do those lines always line up? Yes, on this scope it does. We'll go all the way back to the zero stop that I just set. It goes just under two tenths under zero and you back up to zero. So that is the zero stop. It is a hard stop. It's not gonna go any further than that. And back to zero. One thing I did notice on the magnification adjustment is this one is quite a bit heavier than what I would probably prefer. Um, it's just a little stiffer than most. All right, we zeroed it. So these will be uh, first rounds downrange. I'm gonna start at 500, just kind of walk it out, see how it does, see how it tracks. So this is uh, my backup rifle. It's a six creed uh, hand loads with 105 Hornady. So 500 yards, it's uh, 2.2 mils. Yeah, right, track's pretty good. Let's take a shot at 500. Yeah, impact there. Reticle is a little bigger than I would like, but let's go on out to 600, right at three mils. I'm going to adjust my parallax a little bit. All right, 600. Give it a little wind. Back. Just right the center at 600. Tracking good so far. About four mils at 700. Just my parallax. Ok, 
tracking very nicely. Elevation wise looks great. Uh, let's go to 800. Five mils. I'm gonna bump the mag up. Mag's all the way out, 18, 18 power. 800. Come back. Six point two for nine hundred. It's a little high, but still on target. Go to a thousand. Seven five for a thousand. Just off the right edge, it's held a little too much wind. Let's hold center. Need a little extra man, went off the left side that time. Let's hold just right edge. So, track's great. Um, everything lines up data-wise. Clicks are great. I think the only thing that I am having trouble with is the size of that reticle is a little bit thicker than what I would like for this application as far as shooting PRS-style targets. So you can see one of the concerns uh, was the reticle. So let's look at that reticle. Um, you heard me say that it was a little bit thicker than I would I prefer. Um, and you'll see in this video that it does cover up quite a bit of target, uh, uh, quite a bit of the target, um, which can be an issue for PRS style um, shooting or precision shooting, because you wanna be able to see where you hit, where your impacts land, where your misses land, so that you can make a correction. And with a thicker reticle, it's a little more difficult um, to make sure that you see those impacts, see those misses. Um, and so that's why a lot of reticles for PRS style shooting are a lot more um, thinner, a lot more precise. Um, but on the other hand, for hunting applications, it's uh, often preferred to have a thicker reticle so that at lower magnifications, you can still see your reticle. So for a hunting application, I think this reticle would work much better um, and would be much preferred for that type of shooting. So taking this thing out to a thousand yards, um, built my confidence in it. I knew it was tracking right with the data that I had on the gun. So I just took it through various um, different stages that we shoot at our range for PRS matches. I went and, and shot off several different barricades, different props, um, just, to, just to test this scope out. And, um, what I did notice is that it did have very forgiving eye relief, which is what I like to see in a scope. Um, what I mean by that is that when I get on, on the glass, it's easy for me to get that clear picture uh, quickly. You'll see here that um, didn't have any trouble finding the target, getting on target, and breaking off a clean shot. Like I said, the eye relief makes it Makes it easy to get that clear picture, uh, find your target and engage it. I shot uh, several different targets at different ranges. The optic held true, never lost zero, always tracked perfectly, um, and all around just performed well. Like I said, the only thing that was left, wanting, left me wanting more was the reticle. 
but I still think it's a great reticle. Obviously, I could make it through a PRS match with this um, scope and the reticle and could probably even do fairly well, but on the top end of competition, it would leave you wanting just a little bit more for that style shooting. I think this scope would, would make a good choice for a hunting application and even precision shooting. I think it would leave you wanting a little bit more um, as far as the reticle limitations go if you were to take it to a PRS style shooting match. But for a hunting application with a thicker reticle that is easy to see even at low magnifications, I think you would be very pleased with this scope. Um, I think it's a great optic. Go check them out and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.